morning guys today we're going to be talking about a fish that quite a lot of you would have come across um, most of you or some of you probably wouldn't have known what it's called um, but its common name sort of gives it away um, what it looks like we're talking about glassies today now we won't go specifically into a single species um, but we'll talk about all of them in a whole so that's under the genus ambassus you get ambassus ambassus is the most common one very flat fish from the sides like that as the name implies glassy they're almost translucent and they've got a, a silvery stripe along their body like that which is the along their spinal spinal column on the inside like that there's a silver stripe it runs along down the down the body generally slight stippling dotting on the the top and a little bit of a yellow color um, on the the top the dorsal area they also have quite a prominent dorsal fin um, sticks up like that and got sharpish spines to them very very big eye which sort of leads into this is to think about the fish so big eye um, silvery color he's looking quite a big mouth for his size so big eye means he's going to be looking for prey constantly searching hunting for prey although they are only they max out at 30 centimeters but I haven't seen one bigger than about 25 and that's with a lot of research that we've done up in St. Lucia and all sorts so you're really getting them about five, five to seven centimeters a big boy um, for our side yeah most of them are even smaller than that down to about two centimeters in length they are known to hang very very still in the water so you'll sit, see they can actually sit completely motionless and just sit like that and with their transparent nature you um, they almost become very difficult to see in the water which means they are a lot easier to hide from predators now that combined with the fact that they shoal together means that although they are very slow fish they're not very quick moving um, they don't get predated on as heavily as something like a mullet or something like that that's going to be smaller pockets moving around in terms of what they eat planktonic life forms so anything drifting in the water they're going to eat uh, small little uh, copepods and any of your your terrestrial insects that are going to get blown onto the water we find that actually makes up quite a large proportion of their diet so in areas like in, in estuaries particularly they they're going to feed near the reeds and things like that and you do get stuff like dragonfly larvae and grasshoppers that blow in which which leads to the next bit is they are actually able to adjust to completely fresh water which makes them extremely popular in the aquarium trade because they're very they're very pretty fish they got that shine to them very very shiny belly yellow top sort of glassy see-throughness to them um, they're very popular in, in the aquarium trade because you can adapt them and run uh, essentially saltwater fish in a, a freshwater tank so that combined with their schooling they make a very nice show fish so they're very popular in the in the aquarium trade um, eating wise they if you've never tried them, take a little glassy, cut the top fins and bottom fins off, roll them in flour and deep fry them. You won't go back. They are absolutely delicious. I call it fish popcorn. Um, very, very tasty. They are also very popular in the eastern part of the world, so the China, Thailand kind of Vietnam area. Um, the guys do say net them and then they, they fry them up or they dry them and salt them. So very similar to Capenta up in uh in africa so yes guys uh there are quite a few species but we generally deal with them because they're all very very similar they're just slight differences in appearance you can deal with them all as a single uh a single species if you do want to catch them uh estuaries and shallow coastal bays and stuff is where you're going to find them hanging uh, all together durban harbor richards bay harbor any of the other harbors st lucia is where you're going to find them mostly and they're going to hug straight, straight uh, close to the rocks like that to obviously avoid predation if you do want to catch them tiny hooks you're talking art lure style, style stuff so very very small hooks little pieces of bread you can actually catch them um, they're not going to put up much of a fight but they uh, they are still worth targeting if you want to put them on the species list and then they are deadly deadly bait for all of your fish that you find in the estuary little kingies absolutely love them and springer if you can live line a little glassy out in a deepish area you're almost guaranteed a springer um, also your flathead are going to be opportunistic predators of them but yeah kingies uh, springer oxide tarpon any of the other estuary fish including shad and uh, 
even Grunter will, will, will eat a live glassy and uh, river snapper as well. So yeah guys, uh, very important food fish, uh, especially in the east, very important prey fish here by us and worth eating if you want to give it a go. The glassy, a passes. Cheers.